Let me help you, lady. So yesterday you, you were talking about course and um, you said one sentence. You mentioned that um, in the past courts weren't Muslim. Um, I would like you to explain this more to me. I'm not saying in the past, there is a lot of Kurds still Muslims, but if you go and search right now in Google as we speak, you will find a lot of Kurdish converting to Christianity. And right now we have many churches in Kurdistan all over, and those that used to be Muslims all their life, they became a Christian. I'm sure you heard about that. There's videos, even the news, speaking about Kurdish converting to Christianity, leaving the cult of Islam. Yeah, but um, I actually want to mention that I'm from a, a northern Syrian city, it's called Kobani. Mm. And um, some people wrote that um, a north, um, that the northern Syrian tribes um, were killing Christians. And I kind of got a little bit angry about this, because in my city there are a lot of Armenians and Assyrian people living together with Kurdish people. and. We like never had a problem with any. Well, Christian. you see, uh, there is there is a problem. Sometimes there is something. Like maybe you heard not, did not hear about it, but from time to time, because you know Kurdish, they are kind of uh, very much attached to their race, and if you make anything they don't like, they 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 gang against you. This is the truth, and especially against minority. However, it does not mean that all Kurdish they would do that. This is some of the Kurdish do do that. However, this is not my topic, really. Yeah. Here, here we talk about Islam. So what do you think? You you said you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, actually I'm Kurdish, but um, I was born in Europe. And um, yeah, my parents were born in Syria. I, I don't know that much Arabic, but... Yeah, but what, what, do you think about, what do you think about German, Islam? What do you think about I, Islam? Yeah, um, my question is, why do you put so much hate on Islam, like uh, you're talking okay. about Islam? Okay, I like what you just said. I, 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 I like what you just said. I, I like what you just said. You said, you just said, why you have too much hate against Islam, right? But I don't hate you. So I hate Islam, because Islam is a hateful cult. Let me ask you, do you like a book saying, we should hate the Christians? Do you like that? No, of course not. I okay. mean, my parents never told me to right. hate any other person. That's wonderful. You, the, your parents are good parents. I, I have to agree then that your parents are good people. But this is your Quran. This is your Quran, chapter 5, verse 14. Allah, he said, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians and the judgment day. So if I ask you, you know, I ask you already, do you like a, a book teaching hate against Christian? You said, no, my, my parents never taught me that. So this is a bad teaching. No, I mean... And I, in my opinion, I think no religion should be based on hate or Thank you. Okay, so see, yeah, so, wonderful. So I agree with you. So why Muhammad saying in the Quran that from those who call themselves Christians, you can open the Quran, read with me, in chapter 5, verse 14, those who call themselves, uh, themselves Christians, they did take a covenant, and but they forgot a good part of the message that was sent to them, so we string them with enmity and hatred between one and the other to the day of judgment. What kind of God this God is? What do you think? Yeah, but I mean, um, like in every religion, there are extremists or people. No, 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 no. You see, there's no, 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 no. My, my friend, what's what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's what's your, what's your name? What's your name? I, I don't want to say it. Okay, give me a name to call you. With. Give me just any name you want. What? Okay, call me. Call me. Um, I don't know. Okay, I will call I you. I don't know. I like. I like. I like to call you. I don't know. Okay, I'm, uh, Mrs. Mrs. I don't. I don't know. Listen, every religion have extremists. <laughs> every religion have extremist. Extremist Christian is somebody carry the Bible, not the sword. You see, Jesus, he, uh, he have disciple who carry the sword. But he did not order them to kill. But they can defend themselves with it. But they did not attack. Yeah. They did not slaughter. And he killed no one. Now, you said every religion have extremists. An extremist Christian. An extremist Christian. My, my friend, let, 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 let me finish. 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 So can you, can you, can you be extremist and you are the God? I mean, here we go. The God is talking. This is not a Muslim talking. So you are saying to me, every religion have extremists, but I'm quoting for you a verse from the Quran. The, the God you worship, 
he want to spread hatred against the Christians, between the Christians. Not only that, in the same chapter 5, verse number 40, 51, let me ask you, do you, have a, do you have a Christian friends? You live in Europe, so you have a Christian friends, yes. don't you? Okay. Do you? Okay, but don't you know that the Quran forbid you from taking friends and they are Muslim Christians? Don't you know that? Never heard okay, here we go. Open the Quran with me. I will put for you on the screen and you tell me what do you think about this verse. Here we go. Chapter 5, verse 51. Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are not, but they are but friends and protectors to each other. And he among you who turn into them in a friendship, he is one of them. So you are a Christian now, according to the Quran. You are, you are a Kafir. You are out of Islam. Here's the Quran saying that. Read it. I mean, um, of course, there may be some people who can be easily persuaded uh, to, into another religion. They can convert easily into another religion. Lady, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about this topic. Listen to me. I like to speak to a mature people, not somebody I speak about in the East, you answer in the West. Focus with me. The Quran just said, if you take a Christians as a friends, you became a Christian. You are not a Muslim no more. So what, of course, somebody can be somebody that the Quran is saying that if you take Christians as a friends, you are not a Muslim no more. And you said you have a Christian friends. So the Quran is saying that you are not a Muslim. You are a false Muslim. In fact, you are a Christian. But most of them, they have Christian friends. No, they cannot. I'm showing you Quran. What's wrong with you? Those who they have a really Christian friends, that's mean they aren't Muslim. The Quran is saying that. Don't you read? Do you know how to read? Yeah, but, okay. Um, don't tell me but. No, don't but me. Don't but me. No, no but. No but. No but. No but. Don't give me speeches. Don't give me speeches. I want you to read the Quran for me right now, chapter five, verse fifty-one, and tell me what do you understand. I have to open the internet because I'm not at home. Right well, you are in the internet already, aren't you using Skype? Yeah. Look like the, the, the look like Skype is not internet in your country. Chapter five, verse fifty-one. Yeah. Hmm. Does it say okay, take not Christians and Jews as a friend? Have believed do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. They are in fact allies of one another, and whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Hmm. So what do you think? You said you have a Christian friends. And the Quran says the one who takes them as a friend is one of them. So you are a Muslim, you are a Christian now. You are one of us. Welcome. Yeah, but focus 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 on the word allies. It's like it's it's like talking about war and No, no, you see this is a, this is a this is first of all this is a this is no 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 hold on hold on. Okay, I will I will I will go with you with the stupid translation. Ally. Ally is a governor, is a police. Is an army. So you live in Europe. The queen is a, let's say you live in England. The queen is Elizabeth. So you cannot take her as your queen. Otherwise, you are not a Muslim no more. This is your false translation. However, the true translation is friend and protectors. Because this is the word awliya in Arabic. Awliya, you, you said you are from north of Syria. So you should speak Arabic. You can ask your daddy. And here we go. I'm showing you right now the, 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 the translation of Yusuf Ali. Change the translation. You will see, this is about your friends. We can go and read the interpretation for the verse. It's about taking Christians as a friends and protectors, both. So you cannot take yeah, them as a friend. Muslims don't agree with this. It's like- it's, it's Thank you very much. So why you call yourself a Muslim then? Yes, why, if you don't agree, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen my, 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 my young sister, why you agree? You just said most of Muslims don't agree with this. So why you call yourself a Muslim? If you don't agree with the Quran, obviously you are not Muslim no more. You should also know that um, it's every person's own interpretation. I, uh, okay, what about your profit interpretation? Okay, do, do your profit? Do your profit? I mean, do your profit? Yeah. Do your profit? And you do your profit? Do your profit? And you the interpretation? Do, do your profit? And you the interpretation of the Quran? Do he understand the Quran or he don't? Okay, did your prophet, he says, I'm going to kill and expel the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula? Did he say that? And now we don't have single Christian exist in Saudi Arabia? Is that your prophet saying that? Or your prophet did not know the Quran? 
and he have a wrong interpretation of Islam. Maybe Muhammad was a terrorist. He is from ISIS. He is not from not a Muslim because they say that ISIS is not Muslims. The fact ISIS are the one practicing the true Islam. This is your prophet saying, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. How you would do it? By killing them, by the sword. And I will leave not any, but Muslims. This is what your prophet did. And this is what he ordered in the Quran, and chapter 9, verse 29. And Jews living in Arabic Muslims countries, like in Syria. Okay, there take, take, care, so take, take care, take care, take care. I talk about potato, she answered about tomato. What Jews live in Syria? The older Jews in Syria, they are gone. Long time ago. Because of the mercy of Islam. They treat them like dogs. Do you know that in, in those countries, she mentioned Syria, if you are a Jew, every morning, you have to go to the police station by 9 a.m. in the morning. And you have to sign to prove your presence. If you don't do that, they will arrest you, you and your family. Every morning, can you believe it? Can you believe it? This is how they treat the Jews in those countries. They treat them like dogs. And they say, we, the Jews live between us. Every morning, if you are a Jew, you have to go to the police station. You bring your ID with you. They check to be sure that this is you. If you don't show up, they will send the car to your house, arrest all your family. They want to know where you are. And then they say to us, we have a Christians live with us side by side. Yeah, we saw how side by side it is. So notice here, you show them what's written in the Quran, they try to play all kinds of games. They don't want to be honest and say, this is disgusting, this is garbage. Do we have any other Muslim? Somebody saying, let her speak. I, I did not let her speak. That's why I say stupidity is amazing. Let her speak. So all this talk, she did not speak yet. So what we were doing? She was singing. You said everybody have his own interpretation. What interpretation? This is your prophet. Your prophet said, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. All mankind, all, until they say the Shahada convert to Islam. Not only the Arab Christians, not only the Assyrian. Is that Muhammad saying that, or this is interpretation? Let her speak. Why you don't call me the Mr. Let her speak? Let us see, maybe you can do better. Is that your prophet saying that? I've been ordered to command it to kill all mankind, fight them and kill them, unless they say the Shahada? And they pay me money? And only then their blood is secure and their property, the thief? This is what ISIS was doing. The Kurdish in Kobani, they don't practice Islam. So their blood is halal for ISIS. Because ISIS, they are following the teaching of Allah Prophet. The false prophet, the Chihuahua. Read it. Everybody have his false interpretation for Islam. This is Muhammad. ISIS don't present Islam, but this is Muhammad saying, I've been victorious by terror. I will take your property and your blood and your wife if you don't convert to Islam. But everybody have interpretation for Islam, his own interpretation. This is Muhammad himself, but Muhammad is not a Muslim. Muhammad was a Jew, maybe, he was a Hindu. I think I heard that Muhammad uh, was a fake Muslim, sent by the CIA. He don't know anything about Islam, he don't present Islam. Muhammad is not, is, is the last one to present Islam. What, what Muhammad he knew about Islam? Those who they are in YouTube, they knew what Islam is about. Muhammad, you don't know. I mean, obviously, look at this. This is no way the Prophet will say that. The Prophet was peaceful. He's full of bees. Right? He's very peaceful.
So we said we show her your Quran says he will spread the hatred between the Christian. She start talking about things we have no idea what it is. This is how they run away from those things. Is that Muhammad saying? Is it Muhammad who says I've been victorious by terror? By what? By terror from a distance of one month journey. They say to you that those are terrorists, but Muhammad is the first terrorist. From a distance of one month journey, do you see it? I was victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. Do you see how much peaceful he is? According to Muhammad, people, they do poo, -poo in their pants when they hear that Muhammad is one month journey away from them. This is how peaceful he is. He have a lot of peace. And this is what they fool you with. Prophet Muhammad was peaceful. Prophet Muhammad was not a prophet. He's a child molester. He have sex with the children. He rape the children. He asked for the hand of uh, 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 Fatima bin to Asad when she was one day old. Some hadith they say she was a year old. Fawq al Fatim. Imagine she's an infant. He's asking for her hand. He want to marry her. What he saw in her? A diaper? He took Aisha to his bed when she was six. He fondled her until she is nine. He have intercourse at the age of nine, according to Aisha. He took his own son wife. He flirted with the wife when she, the husband, was not there. How decent, how trustworthy. And the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad was, Muhammad was called a Sadiq al Amin, the trustworthy. You are right. The Muslim accused him of stealing a panty, trustworthy. Flirting with the wife of his own son when the husband is not there, trustworthy. And all of this is written by their own hands, not by the Jews. Not by the Christians, not by the Hindus. The Muslim wrote those stories for us. And then they say, ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. Well, isn't it your prophet in the Quran? Quran saying, kill them, cut even their fingertips. I mean, what kind of God he enjoy cutting fingertips of his enemies? What is that? What kind of joy Allah he have by cutting fingers? He cut your neck, cut their neck, brother, and cut their fingertips. Allah like to eat fingers. He fry them. They make them crunchy. This is your God. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Islam is bees, brother. Islam is bees. Cutting fingertips. Yeah, why are you are surprised? I says they put nails in the eyes. Go and watch the videos. They are still in YouTube. They put eye. They put nails in the eyes, and they crucify people. They put nails in their eyes. Are they doing something extreme? No. This is what Muhammad did. This is what Muhammad did. How come if you do what Muhammad did, you are a, you are you are a terrorist? Do you see it? He gagged his their eyes. He brought piece of iron nails. He heated in fire. He crucified them. And he put nails in their eyes. And he cut their hands. And he cut their feet. And he branded their eyes. Look like Muhammad. He's not a good. He's not a Muslim. Islam don't teach that, brother. Islam teach peace. ISIS is not Muslims. 
what ISIS did with Muhammad did. This is what Muhammad did. Go watch the video exactly as Muhammad did. So how come if you follow Muhammad step by step, you are not a Muslim no more? The false propaganda of the idiots. You know, the Muslims, they assume that you are an idiot who know nothing about Islam. And as long as you know nothing, we throw on you whatever, and you will believe it. So there's millions of articles that ISIS is not Islam. ISIS are killing Muslims. ISIS are not killing Muslims. Because according to Islam, the one who don't pay zakat, the one who don't pray, the one who don't do what everything Muhammad is not a Muslim. And we just showed you the hadith. They are not Muslims. Read it. This is why ISIS, when they slaughter those people, they are not slaughtering Muslims. Because if you don't do what Muhammad say, you are not a Muslim. Read it. Do you know how to read? The only way to guarantee protection to you, except if you follow the law, and convert to Islam. Otherwise, I will kill you, according to Muhammad. He will slaughter you. And this is the only way to protect yourself. So if you don't pay the zakat, Muhammad will kill you. You are not a Muslim. You have to do the prayer. Otherwise, you are not a Muslim. The message of Allah said, I have been ordered to fight against the people, which means here the word fight is to uqatil, which means fight to kill all mankind. Until they testify there is no none worthy to worship but Allah and Muhammad is messenger. This is the shahada. And until they established the salah, so you have to do salah. If you don't do salah, he will kill you still, even if you say shahada. And pay the zakat, you have to pay the money. No money, no honey. He will kill you still. Those are conditions to do salah, to pay zakah, to say shahada, and to do the rest of the law. If you don't do, you did not gain the protection of the leader of the gang. If you do, you have the protection. If you don't, you don't gain the protection. And then your property and your money and your wife and your daughters and your animals are the property of Muhammad and he will slaughter the rest of you. This is Islam. They lie to you when they say ISIS is not Islam. ISIS actually they are way nicer than Muhammad. Way nicer. You see ISIS they enter a Catholic church, a Catholic uh, village in Syria. She mentioned she is from Syria. This is why I'm mentioning the story. They gather all the Christians. They told them you have to pay jizya otherwise we will kill you. A moderate Muslim, he want to prove that ICE are not Muslims. He said, and the video on YouTube, brother, if Muslim, if ICE are Muslims, then they should kill all those Christians because they are worshiping idols. This is the moderate Muslim who's trying to prove to us that ICE are not Muslims. Why? Because they did not kill all the village. They want money. They want jizya. This is the moderate Muslim. Anyway, feel free to cut my video, make it pieces. As Muhammad, he made many people pieces. Post it again, add subtitle, translate your own language. Help yourself, my friend, for many Muslims trying to convert your children. This is not about me. I am the last one to worry about Islam. I have all the vaccine in the world against this garbage. I'm doing what I'm doing for your children. So tomorrow, when they go on YouTube, they will not be fooled by a Muslim saying Islam is a wonderful religion. So if you care for your children, share what we share with you. Don't be a silly person who sit here and just laugh and make some text and go. Your child, he go to school. They teach him there. Even your teachers in the schools, they teach him Islam is peace. You open TV, 
Go and see what jo George Bush said. Islam is peace. You are a piece of garbage, George Bush. Obama quoting the Quran. What a stupid idiot. Yesterday, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, me, he's quoting the prophet of Allah. The prophet of Allah, he said, that if one of you saw something wrong, change it by his hand. If he cannot change it by his hand, change it by his uh, the tongue. If he cannot change it by his tongue, change it by his heart. The coward, he is quoting Muhammad, asking the Muslims to kill the Christians and the Jews and the gays and the lesbians. Because this is what the hadith is about. If you see something wrong, change it by your hand. What does that mean? Violence. So if a Muslim, he sees somebody is a gay, a Muslim should change that. <laughs> Stupid, filthy, coward, son of Mut'a Biden. Just because they want to be in the office, and by the way, the Muslim in the USA is not even 1%. They don't count in election. They mean nothing. They cannot make anyone a president. But because they are so corrupt, and their soul is sold to the devil, for the sake of the election, they will do and say anything. Hillary Clinton, she don't mind to say we will nuke Russia. But in the same time, she believes Islam is peace. The Kaaba is the center of yoga in the world. People sent around the Kaaba and do meditation for peace. Shouting Allahu Akbar, kill the infidels. This is their yoga. Right? Coward and filthy. You see, I saw somebody yesterday making comment about uh, Trump. You see, I voted for Trump, but doesn't mean he's a good guy too. Trump, he do the same for the sake of election. I mean, Trump, he did not make any comment until now about Aya Sophia. Not a single comment. Coward. In the same day, they were posting about the judgment of taking the church from us. Trump was posting about his favorite food in Twitter. I hope it's a Muslim. If it's not a Muslim, I will hang up on you. Hello? How are you, brother? Is that? Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Ask a few questions. No, no. We said only if you are a Muslim, you can call me. Don't waste my time, please. We have another channel for Christians to call when we are live on air. We have a Skype open to show them that they are afraid and terrified to call me. They claim to be that they have scholars, they claim to have answers, but they have nothing. We wanna, we don't want to do what the Muslims do. The Muslims, they have a call, call, call us a brother, and the only brother they can call them. And then both of them, they start bashing Christianity. We don't want to do that. Here we make shish kebab. Hummus. Muhammad is my falafel. I smash him. I crush him. I break him. I whip the floor with his face. And then after I whip the floor with his face, I have to wash the floor because his face is so filthy, dirty. to protect myself from Corona, Quran. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Anyone of them, those who call themselves Ustad, big mouth, potato, tomato, cowards, in front of those poor Indonesian, they claim they have knowledge, but the fact they don't, they don't. That's why they don't dare to debate me.